Hi there YouTube, welcome in my desktop. And you're looking at the desktop and you're like, what kind of desktop is this? And the only thing that will let you uh, believe that this is Linux is the simple screen recorder that I'm using here. Only Linux users will know. This desktop that you're looking at, ladies and gentlemen, is a Ubuntu made desktop. So how to get the desktop like this? How to make a thing like this? Well, you have to do some theming. And <clears throat> I will bring back the desktop the way it was. And then I'm going to I'm going to show you how to create your own uh, desktop. Okay? This is Ubuntu Mate. There we go. Here you can see, this is how you will get Ubuntu. Okay? This is Ubuntu Mate. This is already set for you. Okay? Your screen will not turn like this because that has to do with the effects. Here in... Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's all different now. So, let's get started. Here you can see that uh, we have Firefox and in fact Ubuntu already brought this down at the bottom but I want to show you in fact the real thing so let's uh, let's go to the control panel and in the control panel you will find the mate tweak okay so in fact when you get this you will not see all these things you see that you will only have uh, the garbage can so up here you can add the rest of the icons I got them all okay though in interface yeah here you can see this is Ubuntu mate but um, let's let's go for the Redmond here and I just want to show you the several desktops that we have here 11 with mate menu you see that <laughs> nice eh? <clears throat> and uh, yeah I got uh, I, I never saw this one before but this is the mate menu because this mate menu I created myself okay so um, it will already be there so you will have to get these kinds of icons uh, yourself okay so that's the interface here 11 with mate menu this is 11 and you see that this dock here that's docky it came out of nothing redmond with mate menu see that and we're just gonna go for redmond so let's start from here okay though all right so the first thing that you want to do is go to properties and put it on top and then close up here you're gonna delete all these little things here you just make sure you delete you remove the little thingy there delete you're also gonna delete this delete and you see this little tiny thing there that you almost cannot see remove the thing and delete it so now you see nothing here okay so we're gonna add we're gonna say add to the panel and we're gonna go all the way down and we're gonna add the mate menu in my case immediately you will see the apple etc because in fact um, I changed that already so how did I change it I went and get myself a little Apple icon yeah small one I found it in uh, an icon package and then I just selected it here you see and then somewhere you see here I have the icon so I, it could be any icon all right up here I just typed you know finder app settings etc you know um, I could even put my name 
Oops. <laughs> Look. I can never find the keys here. But you but you got the message right? Fuck. Desktop. Hoppa. You see that? Alright. Um even though it makes no sense if you click here because the whole menu will open, you know. So that's 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 how we got the top bottom. Of course we must make it a little bit better and make it just a little bit bigger. You see I also made it black. I normally it's like this and I made it black. Okay? So now we're gonna stand on here and we're gonna say add a new panel. You see the panel comes here at the bottom. We're gonna stand here in the corner and we're gonna say add to panel. We're gonna go all the way down peeps and uh, here you're gonna see fenster list. Uh, 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 how you say? Um, no, not fenster list. Uh, I want. Uh, here, that's what we need. Desktop changer. Okay, so we just double click it, so we get the desktops. You see that? So now we got the desktops. Um, we also want here the open apps list so we say add and then i did not see it hmm. oh i edited it four times you stupid it's here in the corner this one we're gonna delete that is one here two three and then we're just gonna stand on it and say move move around you know move and then we just move it to here all the way in this corner and now you see the open apps are here at the bottom you see that the coolest thing of uh, of this this bottom bar is I'm gonna make it just a little bit um, we go to properties we make it a little bit fatter like this and we also gonna give it the background black okay say okay and then we're gonna make it all black close alrighty peeps Agreed with me there, and now we're gonna go to our apps. For instance, I'm using um, Rhythmbox. Rhythmbox, <laughs> that's really cool. Cause in my next video, you're gonna see how to uh, kind of listen to hours of reggae music and all sorts of music. Uh, I want the PTV. PTV is a very, very beautiful uh, video editor. And um, let's go to internet. Of course, we're going to get the Firefox browser, even though it so shows the Safari icon. <laughs> but the Safari icon is just, <laughs> it's just beautiful. That's why we're using it. I hope Apple will forgive us for that. I'm sure they will. They know that we love Apple. So... Um, yeah, here uh, we can also insert the VLC player. Of course, <clears throat> this here, uh, in audio, you see, for instance, the rhythm box. This is the iTunes uh, 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 icon. We just, you know, add it from here the same way. You see that? And we just, you must download the icons, of course. So uh, to get icons, just go to Google and, you know, um, let me see how many minutes do we have nine minutes let me show you real fast how to get icons so you can make your own own styled uh, ubuntu that's also cool and you say just icons icon no not iso icon packages freeware download okay so up here you will find all sorts of icon packages we can go to images you see that peeps and if you see something that you kind of like and that you would kind of love to use you know in your in your system 
this is all puzzling you know i've been doing this a while already so i can make really beautiful systems at least i think my system looks really beautiful this is of course not just a myth this is a posse pocky pocky myth pocky myth this is my own uh, kind of look of feels that i give to the system this is not using any memory this is just a toolbar it's just a panel it's no big deal of course uh, you can add as much uh, apps to it even folders you can add uh, to it uh, for instance your documents here you can just put it right there you see it will take the original color of the original documents because this is a fake folder this also the my computer is also fake as you will see it will also be well it, it almost looks like the one from ubuntu original eh? but in fact this is another icon you see that i played with this icon so yeah what can i say uh, is this good yes it's just as good as uh, the the real thing because nothing really changed only thing that i changed were some icons but for the rest you know i did not touch anything of this operating system this is just fantastic operating system look at that you know amazingly beautiful this is the microphone it's just like apple you know so people uh, i think apple users will really love uh, the ubuntu mate because it's so flexible and because they can make it uh, <laughs> you know it can give them the feeling that they're sitting behind a very advanced apple machine you know so yeah this is it so uh, we're back to the uh, beginning of how it was and i showed you how to do it so i hope that uh, you will also make fantastic uh, systems out there peeps uh, go ahead go play with it uh, i can't uh, wait because i uh, uh, i'm almost ready again to you know uh, present the distro list uh, week three and four february so we have some more days to go and uh, yeah in the meanwhile i start uh, playing with ubuntu and uh, start doing crazy little things uh, with it so you can also get motivated to start doing things this is a simple screen recorder i have a video of how to install simple screen recorder under linux mint but also on the ubuntu it's just the same just uh, follow these steps that i uh, also described in the or um, yeah explain in the in the description and then you will also have this fantastic screen recorder i'm recording in mp4 mp4 format at this moment and uh, yeah it's just fantastic i will edit it uh, under linux with uh, one of my video editors and uh, yeah the video will then be uploaded to youtube anyway peeps uh, this was it i hope you kind of liked this video i'm sure you did if you're a linux uh, a linux friend i'm sure you you know kind of like this and also might maybe get inspiration to you know uh, even make your own linux even more colorful uh, don't forget that this was done under the powerful desktop of mate and mate will only let you do crazy things like this like changing uh, the orb around and doing all sorts of little crazy things if you're not a programmer if you're just like a user just like me you know normal user with that is kind of creative and you know love to do a, a little changing around anyway this is it peeps i hope you like this video this uh, if you did of course like subscribe and uh, love to see you in my next video ubuntu video that of course will uh, be about um, playing and listening music and finding music podcasts etc for your ubuntu system until then